Now the latest on a story after the deadly incident at Vocker in Charleston, Tennessee last week. It's under investigation, could be for quite a while. Those living near the plant say they want some answers. Channel 3's Angela Kim is live from Charleston where she spent the day working to learn more. Angela, what are you hearing from the neighbors? Hey, David, well, we're also hearing from Vocker actually. They just sent us an updated statement about an hour ago. And as we know right now, three individuals are currently still in the hospital and one individual was released on Friday, but one person also was killed on Friday from this incident as well. Now, like you said, we've also talked to neighbors around the area as well, and they're saying that they were in the dark for most of Friday and up till now as well. And many of them are just simply concerned about their own personal safety and their health. And I could hear the um, reactor or whatever it was go off. It sounded like a gunshot. Chloe Walsh has lived in Charleston her whole life and remembers the Walker plant explosion in 2017. It was very scary and very um, fast paced. Things were happening very quickly and it, we weren't getting the information we needed to know what to do exactly. Walsh says those memories rushed back on Friday when what Walker is calling an industrial incident happened. She wasn't aware of what happened until a call from her parents. They said that we need to evacuate again because Walker had another reactor or something that had spilled, but that's about as much as I know. Walsh says that seeing or hearing things like this isn't uncommon, but she felt like she was in the dark this time, worried for her own personal safety. It, that's what's so scary. It's like you can hear everything. It's like a city over there, you know. There's lights going on constantly, and sometimes like our foundation will shake from different like explosions. Walker released a statement to local media on Friday, saying the incident posed no risk to the surrounding community or environment. Channel 3 reached out to commissioners, the fire department, EMS, and Walker for information about what happened. All declined to comment on specifics. Radley County Mayor Gary Davis spoke briefly Monday at the county commission meeting. The community and, and, and the environment were not impacted at all. It was a very quick thing. They immediately got corrected as far as the part that affects the environment. Uh, but TOSHA is investigating and we will wait for further information based on that investigation. Again, our, our hearts and prayers are with those who were injured and born life that was lost. Walsh says that she understands the good Walker does for the community, like helping provide jobs and bringing more people to the area, but she'd like to know more about what took place so close to home. You never know what uh, pollutants are going out. I'm an environmental science major, so it makes me question the plants that are surrounding my house and what mm -hmm. uh, toxins they're releasing to the atmosphere. Now, Walker did stress, along with county officials, that there was no harm to the community or the environment, like we said earlier. But the names of those that were injured or involved in the incident still have not been released. We're still waiting for that information as well. Now, also, TOSHA is investigating this, in this incident as well, but that could take four to six months, and they won't be commenting on this investigation until the investigation is officially closed. Reporting in Charleston, Angela Kim, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.